Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and in just a few months, this phone is going to be 10 years old. Released in June of 2009, this is the iPhone 3GS, and it was the first phone that Steve Jobs did not present because he was out on medical leave. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you about an entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. It's got a three and a half inch screen, a three megapixel camera, and it is the iPhone 3GS, and it also happens to be my very first phone. Let's go ahead and check it out, because it's a bit of a throwback. Now this episode is sponsored by Vogue Duo, and they have an awesome three port wall charger that features both high speed charging, uh, but it also has an extremely slim body that you can take anywhere, and a flexible hinge that allows you to plug it in in any orientation that you need. Super convenient, super versatile. I'll leave a link in the description with coupon codes. So this is the iPhone 3GS. It has that tiny 163 pixel per inch, 3.5 inch display. And it was the first time that Apple pulled out an S model. It's the third generation or the third iPhone that was made. Um, it has that unibody plasticky black design with the silver rail came in 816 or 32 gigabytes of storage. Um, does have a headphone jack, does have a 30 pin connector, has the power button up top and it is running iOS 6.1.6, .6, and this thing is fun to look at. So the 3GS had the same screen as the first two generations of the iPhone. It has a 3.5 inch, 320 by 480 display at 163 pixels per inch, although it did add the oleophobic coating on the display, which is a term you've probably heard thrown around um, in the past years. Basically, it helps prevent against fingerprints and oils to some extent. Cellular radios were updated, Wi-Fi stayed the same, but Bluetooth 2.1 was added. 3G networks, you're gonna find the 3GS phone is ready for that too, with built-in 7.2 megabit per second HSDPA. The RAM was doubled to a massive 256 megabytes, while storage saw an increase to 32 gigabytes for the maximum capacity, and battery size jumped to 1,219 milliamp hours. Of course, Apple admitted the S meant speed, and with the new processor and iPhone OS 3.0, uh, they're promising speeds two to four times faster than the iPhone 3G. This is a really fast iPhone. 2.1 times faster, 2.4 times faster, 3.6 times faster, 2.9 times faster. The camera also saw an upgrade, as every good iPhone update should. Uh, it got boosted to a 3 megapixel camera with auto focus, auto exposure, and auto white balance, and 480p video recording, so you can get some really crispy, high quality video on this with, of course, audio recording. And Apple saw that sites like Flickr were seeing a boost in photos, especially from the iPhone, and they wanted to give users something that they could be proud of with their pictures. And of course, the iPhone 3GS provided the precursor to Siri, which was maybe voice control play music hey it works so here it is you probably recognize this infamous um, iOS 5 water lock screen in the lock screen we have the camera icon which you can slide up and then we get to our home screen this is the default app layout you can see all the applications and their older designs um, go into newsstand and of course that pops up if you remember that from back in the day we have our settings with no control center or any quick actions this is where you'd have to change your brightness and your bluetooth and any of your settings uh, we do have do not disturb and icloud because this is past ios 5 although when this came out, it would not have had some of these features. You can see things like photos, so when we go into there, we have two tabs for places, and then we have all of our albums, which is just the camera roll right now. We have passbooks, so it's cool that this is here. Of course, with that very old school note design, the notebook look, we have music, and you can play it, and you can hear the speaker at max volume. Safari, of course you have the separated tabs between um, the URL and the Google search bar. And then my favorite is the multitasking, so if we go into that, we get our multitasking dock. And then if you swipe further to the right, you get your quick controls for rotation, media, and airplay. 
And then we have notification center. And that's essentially it. Let me know if you ever used an iPhone 3GS, or if not, just let me know what your oldest iPhone you ever used was. Uh, this was my first phone, and I remember it dearly with my spec candy shell case. Um, that kind of kick-started my YouTube career. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more videos just like this.